Hey everyone, in this video we will discuss why not to have bi-directional relationships in Power BI. So let's start. So this is just a guidance. If you've got a one-to-many relationship between uh, two tables and you create a bi-directional relationship, you might get confusing results. So we'll uh, quickly evaluate one scenario. So uh, in here I've got the product table which is linked to the order detail table and there is um, a one-to-many relationship. So there might be multiple rows in the order detail table which might be related to a single row in the product table and then we've got order header which is related to the order details so each row in the order header table can have uh, one or many uh, uh, rows in the order detail table so you've got uh, this sort of a relationship and what we've essentially done is it doesn't filter properly if so if we were to filter from product to the order detail then order header it doesn't uh, uh, filter it correctly so what we've done is we've modeled this relationship as bi-directional as you can see from the direction of the arrows and we'll just go quickly. I've quickly built a table, a table visual where I've done picked the color from the product dimension, and I've picked a few other fields. So let me just close this out. So I've picked color, and then I've picked line total. Uh, here, just remove the files here. So I've picked the color, the line total, the order quantity, and the fright. And the fright amount is coming from the order uh, header table, as you can see here. So now, what I mean by saying that it might not give the right results, what I'll do is I'll quickly save this as a data. And uh, yep, I already have a file there, but I'll just go and save it. And I will go. So I'll go to the documents folder and I'll open the data file. And you can see, so we, I'll just select this uh, column for fright and you can see at the bottom Excel has summed it up saying it's 13,720,995. But if you look at this table, it says the total is 3,183,430. So there's a significant difference. So what's going on here? Why is it uh, counting? Uh, why are the rows at the color level not counting it correctly? So I'll show you that as well. So let's just go to the transform data tab. And I'll show you uh, this with the example of one order only because it's a lot easier to comprehend it with one order. If we have too many orders, it's very hard to explain it. So I'll go to the order header table. And I'll just filter for one order, the first one. 43659. Similarly, I'll go to the order detail table and I'll also filter on the order 43659 uh, and I'll click OK. So you can see this one order has got 12 uh, items in the order detail table and one record in the order header table. So I'll just save this. So let's try to understand what's going on here. So I'll go to the order detail table. And you can see it's got 12 rows. So let's now build a, another table quickly. So uh, what I will do is with the order detail table, I will just get the order ID here. The sales order ID. And I'll get the color from the product. And you can see, so essentially for that order, we had five colors, black, blue, multi, silver, and white. And that's what we've got on this graph as well, black, blue, multi, silver, and white. Now, when we select the fright amount, what happens? So let's just go here. So for this order, there are five colors in the product table. So we it selects these colors and they get filtered when they get joined with the order detail table, the five colors. And then with the bi-directional relationship with the order header table, it shows that amount five times. So that's why you got 616 come getting uh, calculated for five different colors. So let's say you've got another order which has got another color, but it has also got black. Then the value for that particular table will also get computed multiple times. So the value in the order header table gets calculated 
three or four or five times depending on how many colors uh, belong to uh, that product in the product table so uh, let's say you've got a, you've got a order where you've got blue and black as the colors and when you go to the order detail table they don't get filtered out and let's say there's amount of 100 for fright amount it gets calculated twice uh, just because it is going through the order detail table and there's a bi-directional relationship so that's what's essentially happening here is that because there are five colors it shows and calculates them five times or it adds them up five times and they will never sum up to 616 it will be 5x of that so if you've got multiple orders you can see what's happening multiple times that uh, the fright amount is getting calculated multiple times just because of the bi-directional relationship and that will create confusion and you will not get the correct results if you're doing self-serve analysis and you'll have a lot of sub tickets just to reconcile the amounts uh, so that's the reason you uh, don't want to have bi-directional relationships in Power BI. So that's one of uh, the scenarios. I'll cover another scenario in the next video, but I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, so in this video, what we've essentially covered is that uh, why not to have bi-directional relationships in Power BI and uh, what sort of confusion they cause. So essentially in this case, they're causing uh, the incorrect numbers to be calculated. Uh, so I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and uh, like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers. Bye.